Hello, welcome to CNT Collectibles. I am T, and today I'm going to show you my top 10 favorite baseball players of, of all time. So number 10, um, my, t my number 10 favorite is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And his 48 home runs in 2021 is more bombs in a single season than his dad ever hit. His was for his um, record is 44 in 2000. And then at number nine, we have Freddie Freeman. Um, this is actually kind of funny. Uh, he was stuck in, like, a snowstorm for 11 hours in 2014. So he called Chipper Jones to save him. And he's just a really funny and um, nice guy. So he's also just really good at the game. So I really like him for that matter. And number eight, Walker Buehler, one of the most dominant pitchers in the league right now. Um, he made his debut on April 23rd, 2018, and later on in that season threw seven total innings in the Game 3 of the World Series, and after that season, he finished third in Rookie of the Year voting. And then next up is another pitcher, Jack Flaherty. So after the first half of the 2019 season, he went 7-2 and two with 15 starts and a 0 0.91 ERA. And... It's probably one of the best performances he's had, if not the best. So, the Jack Flaherty is just one of those pitchers that has, like, he's just an average pitcher. And then he just has this monster thing that just happens. And that's kind of what happens with most pitchers. There's just these some pitchers that, you know, are just average and aren't good, like, all the time. But then they just have this one monster year. And then at number six, uh, my sixth favorite is uh, one of my twins, Byron Buxton. It is said that one time Byron Buxton threw a football 82 yards and can get his fastball up to 99 miles an hour. This dude should be a pitcher, but he'd be way too good of a pitcher. And after he signed his contract with the twins, his parents still made him mow their lawn whenever he went home, which I would say if you're... If you're if you're already doing a job like playing baseball, you wouldn't need to mow your parents' lawn. And then number five is um, you probably know of him, one of the like the most dominant two A player, if not the next Babe Ruth, if you can keep up what he's doing, Shohei Otani. And aside from being good at baseball, he's also an elite swimmer. And like, he chose to go with baseball instead of being a Japanese Olympic swimmer, which I don't know that I would go with that. I'm just not, like, both of them put a lot of pressure on you, but, yeah, I'd say baseball, too. And then, now, the big four, and number four, I'm going to start off with Carlos Rodon. He's been absolutely insane throwing this year, and he was last year. And he threw a no-no in 2021, which you probably um, know of. And if you take the N out of his last name and spell it backwards, you get Odor. Which is weird because he's not related to Ro to Rognad or Dor and doesn't stink. Because he's not bad at baseball. He's actually really, really good at baseball. I mean, all these players on here should be good. Hopefully. And then number three is Michael Trout. And Mike actually eats a pickle before every game because he's, he just, he just loves them. I, I don't like pickles. Um, he's been doing that since 2013. People found out in 2017. So it took four years for people to find out that he's been eating pickles before every game. And it turns out it, it gives him some good luck. It makes him the best baseball. I don't know that that makes him the best baseball player in the game, but it sure helps him. That, and that's a pregame routine you don't hear every day. It's pretty crazy just to see somebody um, eating a pickle before a game. And then number two is the guy that throws money, Corbin Burns. He won the NL Cy Young last year, and his stats were video game numbers. 234 strikeouts, only 34 walks, and, and both of those were in 167 innings this season. Or last season, I guess. And he also threw 10, six sec 10 consecutive Ks in one whole game. Straight. And 
I mean, he's done that a lot, except, like, the highest he's ever done was 10. And so I, I can definitely agree with the MLB of why he won the Cy Young. Um, yeah, he's just one of the, I, I don't know why in my prediction, in our prediction video that we did, like, a couple months ago, I said that he was going to win the Cy Young two years in a row, but if the way he keeps up what he's doing, he's definitely getting in the top five for Cy Young. And hopefully he does, because he's my favorite pitcher. And then number one, you probably heard of him being my favorite. Uh, maybe not, but it's Fernando Tatis Jr. That is my favorite. Um, and what's kind of funny about him is that every, before every game, it's kind of like Mike Trout's, except not even close to Mike Trout's. Mike Trout eats a pickle before every game. Meanwhile, Fernando Tatis gives himself a pep talk before every game. And it's kind of crazy. He's really good at baseball, but he's not good at riding motorcycles. Because the reason he is hurt is because he had a, he had a motorcycle crash. And, um, you have to know this. He has one of the most famous bat flips ever. And you can see in the picture right there, um, that is what he did in like, I think it was, it was 2021, right? And why I like him is just because he's just insane. He does the coolest things ever. He looks really, really cool. And his name is cool. And I just like everything about him. Um, in, in my, in my bedroom, I even have, uh, these giant stickers of him. So yeah, I really, really, really love Fernando Tatis. Um, and yeah, he's just one of the coolest players in baseball. One of the best players in baseball. If you're cool and good at the, at the same time in baseball, you're just, you're one of the best in baseball. And I'd say that if he was, um, not hurt, he would be one of the best in baseball. So yeah, um, that rounds it out. Um, these are my top 10 favorite, um, MLB baseball players. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, yeah, see you later. Goodbye.